Good afternoon, dear students. My name is Maisenka Victoria Igorevna and I am assistant of the Department of Digital Pulmonology. And topic of our lecture today is Introduction to the Clinic of Occupational Diseases, Professional Pathology as a Clinical Discipline. You can see content of our lecture on the slide. Occupational Diseases with Occupational Pathology is a division of clinical medicine devoted to studying occupational disease which appeared under the impact of harmful factors in the production environment of work process. The term occupational disease covers any disease contracted as a result of an exposure to risk factors arising from work activity. The number of people with disabilities from occupational illness is not known because of difficulty of diagnosis. Estimation for each year 400,000 new cases disabling occupational illness, 100,000 deaths from occupational disease. 10 million occupational disease cases occur each year worldwide in development countries. Occupational injury and illness rates are much higher than in the US and Europe. For example, each day in US, an estimated 140 workers die from related disease. diseases. Occupational injuries and diseases affecting many organ systems. On this slide you see ranking of selected risk factors. You find occupational risk on 9th place. Now about the history of occupational pathology. Background of development of occupational pathology studies of occupational disease have deep roots. The first description of occupational pathology was done by Hippocrates, who compiled a list of existing at that time the so-called lead professions and described the clinics of poisoning with lead in detail. He also developed the description of negative impact of mining dust onto miners. Significant growth of production in the late medieval period had exhaustive labor in such spheres of industry as mineral resource industry and metallurgy, revoked interest in issue of labor, hygiene and occupational diseases. In 1533 volume monograph was printed by an our attending doctor and chemist persons about mountain roses and other mountain diseases where he specifically described labor condition as well as occupational disease of miners in the result of action of sulfur, mercury, vapor and other metals on the human body. Works of an outstanding German doctor, metallurgist, mineral researcher Agricola caused particular interest and especially his work Dere Metallica, which describes description of diseases of miners, stating reasons for their appearance as well as prevention methods. However, the first monograph, which had systemized description of issues of work hygiene of various professions and the description of specific disease of focus on 52 profession is the disease of workers by an Italian doctor Ramazzini. It was published 25 times in various languages and brought what fame to its author. Further development of industry in the Western Europe in the 19th and the 19th centuries and the beginning of 20th century was accompanied by the growth of professional disease. The founder of Russian science, culture and technology, Lomonosov, developed principles of occupational hygiene and occupational disease in mineral resource industry. In the treatise First Principles of Metallurgy or Our Business, he provided specific detailed information of hazard impact of production factors on the health of workers. The most complete and systemized analysis of occupational diseases was done by Nikitin, doctor at Alexander's Textile Mill in St. Petersburg in his monograph Diseases of Workers and Their Prevention Method. 
Nikitin used monograph by Ramazzini as the basis for his work, however, he significantly changed and completed some chapters. The book played an important role in the development of hygiene and professional pathology. The end of 19th and beginning of the 20th are characterized by rapid development of capitalism in Europe. Millions of workers worked at large enterprises. Work condition and lifestyle were very hard. At that time, many factories doctors conducted research of hygiene, studied the impact of production factors on the health condition and diseases of workers. In the Republic of Belarus, a professional pathology service was created in um, 1925. In the first hospital in Minsk, which included 16 beds in a hospital, a clinical and experimental laboratory. In 1959, territorial offices of occupational pathology were created in regional centers. In 1961, the Department of Occupational Pathology was organized in the Belarusian Institute of Advanced Medical Studies. In the years 60 to 70, the teaching of occupational pathology as an independent discipline as a senior courses of all medical universities was stated. In um, 2000, regional advisory diagnostics and expert rehabilitation centers for occupational pathology were formed in regional centers. In 2020, the Republic Center of Occupational Pathology and Allegology was organized, which became the head of the Professional Pathology Service of the Republic of Belarus. Now about prevalence of occupational diseases. An estimated 2 and 3, 4 million people die each year from work-related accidents and diseases. Of this, the vast majority, an estimated 202 million die from a wide range of work-related diseases. Of the estimated 600, sorry, uh, 6,000 and 3,000 work-related deaths that occur every day. The ILO also estimates an 160 million cases of non-fatal work-related disease occur annually. The types and trends of reported disease vary widely. For example, China reported a total of 27,240 uh, cases of occupational diseases. In the same year, almost 22 thousand cases of occupational diseases were reported in Argentina with musculoskeletal disorders and respiratory diseases among the most frequent conditions. The level of detection of occupational diseases in uh, Belarus is an average of 0.24 per 10,000 employees. It's one of the last places in the world. For uh, comparison, in Russia it's 1 per 10,000 employees, Poland 1 and 20, Lithuania 5, almost 6, Latvia is about 16. According to uh, Pan American Health Organization, first place of most common occupational diseases is back pain is almost 40%. Second place is hearing loss and the third is chronic obstructive lung disease. In the Belarus we have another prevalence of occupational diseases. First place uh, is about 50% of is dust lung pathology. Second place is hearing loss and the third place is vibration disease. Occupational health. What does this mean? The modern definition of occupational health is the promotion and maintenance of the highest degree of physical, mental and social well-being of workers in all occupations, total health of all at work. 
Professional pathology is a section of clinical medicine that studies the question of etiology, pathogenesis, clinic, diagnostics, medical treatment and prophylaxis of professional diseases. What is occupational disease? The term occupational disease covers any disease contracted as a result of an exposure to risk factors arising from work activity. The ILO Employment Injury Benefits Recommendation defines occupational diseases as following terms. Each member should, under prescribed condition, regard diseases known to arise out of the exposure to substances and dangerous condition in process traits of occupations as occupational diseases. Two main elements are present in the definition of an occupational disease. The causal relationship between exposure in a specific working environment of work activity and a specific disease and the fact that the disease occurs among a group of exposed persons with a frequency above the average morbidity in the rest of the population. Main objectives of the occupational pathology are as follows. Study of occupational disease, the pathogenesis, symptomatology, progress, long-term consequences, therapy issues, medical rehabilitation and labor ability expertise. Early diagnostics of occupational diseases is gaining particular importance. Study of non-specific action of occupational factors, their meaning for development, progress and consequences of general and non-occupational diseases. The notion of a production factor means a factor of production environment as well as peculiarities of production process which can cause harmful action onto the body of working person and to cause diseases. By impact of their nature onto a human body, dangerous of harmful factors of the production environment can be divided into physical, chemical, biological and psychophysiological ones. Now classification of occupational diseases. Two main groups, absolutely specific and relatively specific. Absolutely specific is diseases con only occupational harmful factors. For example, is vibration disease or pneumoconiosis. Relatively specific uh, can uh, be household region. It's, um, for example, intoxication. And many diseases can be conditioned by not only occupational but also harmful factors. So, in specific profession and under the impact of specific occupational harms, they can be met more often than in other conditions. Bronchia asthma among pharmacists and pharmacists, chronic bronchitis among workers of dusty professional. These are non-specific occupational diseases. Etiological classification. Occupational diseases can be identified which are conditioned by the impact of the following. Industrial dust, black lung disease, dust bronchitis, pneumoconiosis and others. Physical factors of the industrial environment vibration disease, cochlear neuritis, affection caused by the action of various types of emanation, high and low temperature, and others. Chemical factors of production environment, various acute and chronic intoxication. Biological factors, infection and parasite disease, which develop in those who are in contact with various infection material or animals with some infections as well as among those who work is tuberculosis and other infectional medical institution diseases caused by antibiotics, fungi produces and others. And also we have classes of working conditions, four classes of working condition. Uh, first it's safe working condition, there is almost no risk of occupational pathology. Say, uh, second it's safe working conditions, Risk of occupational pathology is minimal. Third, its occupational exposure limits exceeded. Because of a development of occupational pathology. And the last, extremely hazardous working condition, high and ultra high risk of occupational pathology. In the world um, of all, almost 66 employees works in third class of working conditions. Uh, previous we 
people have poor working condition and now we have much better condition of working condition now about general criteria for identification and recognition of occupational disease the causal relationship is established over the basis of clinical and pathological data occupational background and job analysis identification and evaluation of occupational risk factors and of the role of the risk factors epidemiological and toxicological data are useful for determining the causal relationship between a specific occupational disease and its corresponding exposure in a specific working environment of work activity as a general rule the symptoms are not sufficiently characteristic to enable an occupational disease to be diagnosed as such without the knowledge of the pathological changes engendered by the physical, chemical, biological and other factors encountered in the exercise of an occupation. It is a phenomenon that as a result of improvements in knowledge regarding the mechanism of action of the factors in question. The steady increase in the number of substances applied and the quality and variety of suspected agents. It becomes more and more feasible to make an, ac an accurate diagnosis, while the range of diseases recognized and occupational in origin is broadening. Important elements for the de determination of a causal relationship the exposure effect relationship relation between exposure and the severity of the impairment in the subject and the exposure response relationship. Research and epidemiological studies have greatly contributed in this respect, but the knowledge of the causal relationship has allowed us to achieve a better medical definition on occupational diseases. As a consequence, the legal definition of occupational diseases, which was a rather a complex problem, is becoming more and more linked to the medical definition and criteria. Legal provision on compensation for victims vary from country to country. The Employment Injury Benefits Convention, which indicates the various possibilities regarding the form of the identification and recognition of occupational diseases, entitling workers to compensation benefits, says that each member shall prescribe a list of diseases comprising at least the diseases enumerated in the Convention, which shall be regarded as occupational diseases under prescribed condition, or include it, its legislation, a general definition of occupational diseases broad enough to cover at least the diseases enumerated in the Convention, or prescribe a list of diseases in conformity with clause complemented by a general definition of occupational diseases or by other provision for establishing the occupational origin of diseases not so latest or manifesting themselves under conditions different from those prescribed. The list system covers only a certain number of occupational diseases and has the advantage of listing disease for which there is a presumption that they are occupational origin. This simplifies the matter for all parties since it's frequently very difficult. It's not impossible to prove or disprove that a disease is directly attribu attributable to the victim's occupation. It also has the important advantage of indicating clearly where prevention should focus. The general definition system theoretically covers all occupational diseases. It affords the widest and most flexible protection, but leaves it to the victim to prove the occupational origin of the disease. In practice, it also often implies that arbitration on individual cases is necessary. Furthermore, no emphasis is placed on specific prevention. The MIC system has been favored by many ILO member states because it combines the advantages of the other two without the disadvantages. And the ILO list of occupational diseases. Criteria for incorporating a disease into the ILO list of occupational diseases. 
The Committee of Occupational Accidents and Diseases established in 2002 to work all the list of occupational diseases recommendations requested the governing body of the International Labour Office to convene the first of the therapeutic meetings of experts referred to the recommendation as a matter of priority. The committee expected that, in addition to examining the annex to the recommendation, the existing national and other lists of occupational diseases and the comments received from member states, the committee should consider all the amendments submitted on the annex to the conference committee. Updating the list. Decisions to incorporate specific diseases in the updated list of occupational diseases need to take into account the following general criteria. There is a causal relationship with a specific agent, exposure or work process. They occur in connection with the work environment and or in specific occupations. They occur among the groups of persons considered with a frequency which exceeds the average incidence within the rest of the population and there is a scientific evidence of a clear definite pattern of disease following exposure and flexibility of cause. And now you see list of occupational diseases. First chapter is occupational diseases caused by exposure to aging arising from work activities. Diseases caused by chemical, by physical, biological and other. Second, it's occupational diseases by touch organ systems, respiratory diseases, skin diseases, occupational cancer and other diseases. Hello, I'm the Occupational Safety and Health Fairy. Today, I would like to share with you a hierarchy of control measures for preventing occupational diseases. Occupational hazards in various industries can affect employees' health and cause occupational diseases in severe cases. To prevent occupational diseases, the most effective way is to eliminate or control the hazards at the source. What is an occupational disease? What hazards will cause occupational diseases? The International Labor Organization defines occupational diseases as those having a specific or strong relationship with exposure to physical, chemical, biological, or psychosocial factors at work. And these environmental factors are the predominant causes of such diseases. In recent years, silicosis, occupational deafness, Tenosynovitis of the hand and forearm are the common occupational diseases in Hong Kong. Common hazards causing occupational diseases can generally be grouped into the following categories. Physical hazards, chemical hazards, biological hazards, ergonomic hazards. Identifying hazards at work is the first step to prevent occupational diseases. By using the grouping method described above for categorizing hazards, the hazards can be systematically identified for control. In addition, reviewing the adequacy and effectiveness of control measures already in place, formulating and adopting further appropriate measures, and stepping up monitoring are also important for the prevention of occupational diseases. The hierarchy of controlled measures introduced below can be adopted as appropriate for the control of different hazards in the work environment for the purpose of preventing occupational diseases. <laughs>